I'm going to throw one piece of food over there and then I'm going to, again, just get him out the crate and then I might throw a few more in and you'll, I'll feed more into the crate. So again, remember that game that we played outside? Yeah. So one away and I'm going to throw some more in. And I can have both doors open if I want, but one away and then just throw some more in. And you can see how his back legs sort of staying out at the moment. Yeah. But I'm not worried about that at the moment because I just want him to know that, you know, he goes on. And then look, we've got the back legs in because eventually it's like, good boy. And then I can drip feed in. Oops. So the idea is the more I can pay him in, and the more I can do that, then I can close and I can open and he's not come straight out, okay? So I'm just building that association and then I can release him from it. And then the idea would be, if I can, he's gonna go back in, good boy. <laughs> Give him a bum scratch. You know, all good things happen when he's in the crate. And so he's staying in, I'm gonna throw some more back in. Then I can close the crate Good boy. And then out he can come. But then, oh yes, good boy. And if he makes the decision to go in himself, then I'm going to use a lot of his food and just pay him. So this would be, again, you know, games that I'm playing with him to build that focus. And then what I can do then is, obviously I'm going to pop that in. And then I can close his crate. And then he gets to be engaged in his crate with a toy, keep him busy. And you say normally he'd be, if we close the door. Yeah, he, he gets, um, starts trying to bend it get that, and yeah. he'll start making like whiny noises yeah. quite loud. And... So this is really about just trying to, yeah. and, and it would be very short exposure with the door closed at the moment. So yeah. it's very short, but... So we go away in April yeah. and um, we need... Take the yeah. And he needs to be yeah. When we go out. So what we do here is we gradually build more and more duration with the door shut. But for now, it's just short exposure. So that's way, you know, because he's coped and he's like, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it. Good boy. So I've opened it, but he's stayed in. He's not barged to come out. Oops, I'm dropping food all over there. So let's get that off there. And then I can open. And then you can see I can open that crate door fully. And he's not bolting to come out. So now he's got the choice, but I am paying him quite heavily. Get yeah. the toy out so he doesn't go and try and hide that. And then he hears, <laughs> thank you, pop. Good boy. So again, just give him something to keep him occupied. Good boy. Got him, good lad. But again, choosing to go in and out. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. So little micro closures, but it's like, very short so it's like let him go and get that food and this time you know i might hold the food over here and just see if he can make a decision see if he'll go yes good boy so he makes that decision to go in and i'm going to close the door with very little going off but i've not shut it and then it's like open and he's stayed in and again i'm going to feed him for staying in so it's just playing positive games just Given that good experience of what this crate means, all good things happen, and he's going to get paid a lot for being in there. Yeah. And then I can close the door for five seconds, for 10 seconds, for 15 seconds, for three seconds, for one second, for 20 seconds, for 30 seconds, for five seconds, for seven seconds. So mopses, yeah, I never right. just keep, never just keep increasing. What you want the dog to be able to work out is that the crate door opens and closes but I don't know when. So there's no predictability to it. So he goes, it might be open five seconds. So he just goes, oh, I'll just wait until you open it. And it builds his confidence by doing it in this variable nature. Um, variable reward ratio. Oh, what a good boy. Variable reward ratio is the most powerful. So him not knowing when something is happening is way more powerful and will get you over the hump of him being able to stay in that crate comfortably for way longer. And, and ultimately, be able to have him in there and just leave the door open and they'll just choose.